So it's Ben X. Uh, if you're wondering why the audio is going to sound trash in the video, well, this is usually the uh, microphone, the pop filter, and the headset that I use for all my uh, well-edited videos. And uh, this is the adapter because I had an iPhone 12 before I got an iPhone 15 today. And uh, look what that is, lightning. Well, guess what? Apple decided to switch from uh, lightning to uh, USB-C. So in other words, this, I have to buy another, another USB-C adapter. <laughs> This is gonna be a janky video. I am so, I am so frustrated right now. I just got an Apple uh, iPhone 15 and uh, it's really cool. I, it's got a lot of new features on it. The cinematic mode is gonna be great for films and it's got a lot of new features in the editing and stuff, which is really awesome. Uh, small problem, I, they switched to type C so now my audio for videos is gonna be garbage unless I have the MacBook set up and USB audio. I, I don't want to do that right now. I'm working on better audio with the actual microphone, not just the headset, but still like, as you saw in the beginning of this video, it's just frustrating. So this is going to be a janky video. <laughs> so you guys are just going to have to deal with it. Sorry. This is the last new empire figure that I need for my collection. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's the Godzilla that I have pretty much two of. So I, it's, it's cool. You know, so it comes with the new heat rate piece. So it's going to be cool. It's going to be a fun, one figure the new empire box we all like these i'm pretty sure we everyone in the community already likes this box so it's nice i like it a lot it's cool it's it's very very uh neon and and fun and yeah it, it looks good nice so uh yeah all right let's open this bad boy up uh so this figure is it's pretty good looking uh i remember seeing it in stores originally and thinking i'm not gonna pick it up unless i'm bored one day i was bored today so <laughs> um but i found them at a store there's one left so uh we'll, well I'll, I'll probably talk about that too in terms of just like uh that's a new tail that's a new tail okay so this is technically a new sculpt technically uh there we go cool so technically this is a new sculpt i think he's out yeah all right he feels this is a new sculpt oh this is a new sculpt I'm kind of glad I picked this guy up now. He's new. Oh, what? Okay, this just got really interesting. He's new. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Okay, so this is a very, very lovely surprise. He's a new mold. <laughs> like, the tail's brand new. The legs are brand new. I mean, that's pretty much it, but there's new parts. That's really cool. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Like, he is new. I'll show it off here closer, but this is new. Yeah, man. Let's go Playmates. W for Playmates here. Because yet again, Monster Arts just repainted their Godzilla pre-evolved. Did not add any new features or anything. Nah, just straight up repaint. But look at that. Look at that. Let's get the details. Um, Yeah, it's pretty simple. Very, very simple. Details pretty washed out. You know, it's it's Playmates. It's a Playmates toy. Like, <laughs> um, The legs look really cool, though. They look really nice. They're new pieces. Uh, even the claws are painted. What? Playmates? Aw. You didn't have to do that for 10 bucks. And this was a $10 figure, too. Playmates, you don't be got... You, they're dishing that out for 10 bucks? This is the original Atomic... So we'll take a look at the Atomic Breath pieces here. This is the old one. This is the new one. And I gotta be honest, the new one is a lot nicer. It's a lot more solid. It's a lot more crisp on the details. It just looks a lot more Atomic Breath. This kind of just looks like water. Ah, uh, so yeah, they're both translators, uh, but that one, the new one's a lot nicer looking, so we'll take it and we'll, uh, shove it in his pie hole and boom! Yeah! Look at that! Look at that! That looks really good! So, uh, cool, man! Look at that! Good job! I don't know if it's compatible with the other one. We're about to find out, though. And, uh, yeah, of course it is. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! So here's GXK and here's GVK. We're gonna take a look at these two figures, and I gotta be honest, yeah, GXK is a lot better than GVK's. Um, the articulation on him is a uh, hinge here at the jaw, rotations at the arm, still has that battle damage, uh, swivels at the legs, and the legs are just a lot nicer. And they also have swivels at the feet, which was one of my complaints. Holy sh! Wait, I don't know if this is supposed to be. Is this head swivel? Mine kind of moves, but mine also kind of moved on this one. 
so I'm not sure but mine's his head's moving a little bit uh, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a uh, ball joint the tail sorry I'm like I'm this is this video is going in a completely different direction than what I thought it was gonna go to um but uh yeah you can see the leg different here his don't rotate his do rotate so look at that playmates dishing out a new sculpt for 10 bucks not even monster arts okay there's some paint chipping at the tail but whatever also i'm really glad that they just had blue going down the dorsal plates and not like see-through and then blue this looks bad they did it on godzilla evolved it doesn't work this like it's cool that they have the see-through it just doesn't work but man look at that is awesome. That is so cool. I'm so glad I picked this figure up because he, he's new. He, he's a new figure. This is a new toy, which is... Yes! Yes! It's, the only reused part here is the body. That's it. And I'm guessing the head because they look very similar. There we go. Yeah. So his color is a little lighter because he has this gray wash throughout him. It's pretty easy to see. This is straight up jet black. Like you see that? It's just black with the, the blue fading. This is a good figure, man. And then here he is next to the the tower Godzilla. Yeah, same, he also has that wash. He has a wash going through him. I don't like this one that much. It's blue, like, the fuck? It's, yeah, but this one, I'm liking this, man. Good job, Playmates. The tail's a little more up as well. This is a good figure, look at that. Yeah, no, he's worth it. This is totally worth a pickup. I, this is, I'm genuinely blown away by this. Not blown away, but. I'm surprised, decently surprised. So yeah, there's that, put that in there. Look at that, and that's solid too. Good job, Playmates, man. Alrighty, we're gonna go through a few more comparisons here. Let me get this out of his mouth. Sorry, this video's been a disaster. It's, it's fine. Um, here is next to the Monster Arts. Not really comparable, this is in some league. Uh, but look at that, that they look good. This, this figure looks really good, man. I'm very surprised, so there's that. Here he is next to the Movie Monster Series 2019 Godzilla. I, I This one's better, honestly. I mean, this one is okay, but this one, more articulation, a, a beam effect. Like, this one rocks. Plus, he's got the battle damage. This one rocks, man. Uh, here he is next to Haya. Haya is such a beast. I love it. The Haya toys figure. This one's really sad on me. When, this, one, this one's grown on me, this figure, a lot. It's really grown on me uh, since the review. And yeah, he's just a beast, man. You can see those, too. He's a, he's a monster, but <laughs> I love it. And then, oh, I hit the camera. Here he is next to best Godzilla toy of all time. I just I just want to point this out. Look at when you're removing the beam, you got to like fillet his mouth open. This is a terrible figure. <laughs> um, yeah, Godzilla evolved, pre-evolved. Pre-evolved is much better. Um, the evolved, he should have just had pink eyes, really. He really should have just had pink eyes, but uh, yeah. Pre-evolved is definitely better. Uh, if you're gonna get one of these, I recommend pre-evolved. It just looks nicer. <laughs> this, this evolved figure is terrible. Um, and again, yet again, uses the the translucent to like why? Okay, whatever, whatever. Those are pretty much all the comparisons. That's pretty much the video. Uh, it's a short one. I know it's just kind of a get it out there. Uh, I just wanted to finish up the new Empire stuff. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty good figure. I recommend it. Not a lot of details or anything, but it's a it's a pretty mighty figure. 10 bucks, yeah, knock yourself out. If you see it in a store, it's a, it's a good time. That's it for my review. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all with that minus one Monster Arts review in a little bit. See ya, bye.